<clears throat> Check this out. You're going to be sitting with your girl, watching Netflix, watching a movie. And then she's going to kiss you and she's going to start to get you aroused. And then she's going to whisper in your ear, hey, maybe we should film this. And you're going to pull back and it's like, film what? You know what we're about to do. And then she goes ahead and tells you, you know, my girl, Nikki, I always see you checking her out. Talk to Nikki. You can hit that if you let me film it. And you're going to be sitting here stuck in a weird spot because you want to hit that. And then what you're going to do is like, hey, sure, let's do it. And then you're going to go and Nikki's going to be there. Your girl's going to be there. There's going to be another girl there. And the other girl's like, well, she's going to hold the camera. And next thing you know, you're all in bed, you're doing this stuff. And this other girl's holding the camera. She's getting all these shots. And then you feel that, hey, you got away with something. And then a few weeks later, one of your boys comes up and it's like, I didn't know you did porno, man. And he shows you your sex work. Welcome to the whole economy. This is something that's going to literally explode. I know there's a ton of ex sex workers on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok and talking about how hard it is and the things it does to you. Doesn't matter. There will be more people than ever doing sex work in the in the very near future. Right now, maybe you're a single mom. Maybe you're sitting at home, you're a single mom, you have not one, not two, but three children. You're working a full-time job, you're working a part-time job, and then your girl, Carla, hits you up and is like, hey, all you gotta do is turn the cam on and do this and do this. And your girl, Carla, who has no kids, she's making like $10,000 a month and you're like working, working really, really hard and you barely make 3,000 between two jobs. And then one day you're over at Carla's house and y'all drinking, then y'all put on a flick and y'all make y'all go ahead and do some stuff and you make $800 in a few hours. You're hooked. Welcome to the whole economy. Because essentially financial pressure is pressure. And you're going to have people who are going to be very, very pressured to do something strange to make a little change. And the whole economy is going to really, really explode. Now, this ain't just going to be about the girls. There will be dudes in the whole economy for dudes. I knew this guy who used to come into the upscale garage sale and he was very open with his gayness. He was very much, very much open with it. And um, I remember I had this guitar and it was a, um, God, I, I don't even remember the model, but essentially online, I figured I can get like 6,800 for it, right? So this guy comes in and he's like, hey, I really want that guitar. If you hold it for me, I'll give you 7,200. I got to go talk to my sugar daddy. And I was like, okay. So I hold the guitar because I'm not really getting a lot of offers anyway. And next weekend, this young gay dude comes in with this very old man. I mean, he's not like 60. He's got to be 80 or 90 years old. And the, the little gay dude holds his hand and takes him over to the guitar. Next thing I know, old man pulls a, 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 a envelope out of his jacket pocket. It's full of cash. Gives me 7,200 bucks. Welcome to the whole academy. See, it ain't just going to be girls. It's going to be girls. It's going to be boys. And everyone's going to be doing something strange. Now, for me personally, to watch someone online 
have sex doesn't do anything for me. It's just not for me. But there's a guy on YouTube by the name of Chris Williamson, and he has this podcast and he talks about the number of men who are not having sex. So there's a huge, really, really huge audience of men who are not having sex that will gladly pay $9.99 a month or $24.99 a month to watch someone they think is attractive do manual manipulation or to watch parties perform. There was this one and it was really, really crazy. There was this one group of people. It was a guy and two girls and they would just sit there and they would intermittently have do sexual acts and then they would talk to the camera and everything and they had like a show and I was just sitting there. But here's the thing, uh, from years and years of selling commercial office furniture and res I have was I have a very high spatial complex. I can look at something and tell how big something is. And one like this right here is huge. And this is just a spare bedroom. This is huge. And one of the things that I consistently see with people in the whole economy is very few of them live lavish lifestyles. Essentially, they're bearing their inner souls, so to speak, to make a little bit more money than they would be making if they were doing gig work or fast for work. And also, honestly, I think a lot of these people are freaks. That's one of the things because, I mean, to do this for however long you do it, because this couple, they had been doing, you could just tell that this was their thing. You could just tell that they were deep into it. And you're going to see so many people get into sex work. You're going to see so many people do these things. And if you're a dude, let me go ahead and give you a word of advice. A word of advice. If you're dealing with a girl who wants to do sex work and she wants to bring you into it, just like when these videos of these girls get on the internet, they're for they're forever. You, even if she's your girlfriend and y'all are just having sex and there's no one else involved, guess what? That is on the internet forever. And I guarantee you, right now it may seem cool because you're young, right? But when you get older and then you go ahead and do live your life and do these things, that can come back to haunt you. Because one of the things that I consistently see in this sex work is more and more of these girls are bringing in a dude. And this is something that's funny. Have you ever noticed in porn, you, you rarely see the face of the dude. You just see all of this, but you never see his face. That's purposeful because they want you to imagine that you are the one that's doing that and seeing dude's face can mess it all up. It's just kind of crazy, right? But the number of women and men who will engage in sex work and let's go ahead and identify what sex work is. If you're a girl and you go on OnlyFans, that's sex work. If you're a girl and you go to these cam websites, that's sex work. If you're a girl and you start doing porn, that's sex work. If you're a girl and you start escorting, that's sex work. Now, the number of women, and this is getting to be, I would say, I don't want to say alarming, but the number of women who will turn it over for, in my opinion, chump change is staggering high. The number of women who will just get busy for a hundred bucks, less than a hundred bucks is very, very high because they're broke and they need money. And what's going to happen is these women's framework is going to become really, really jacked up 
in terms of having a boyfriend because once a woman becomes a st staple of sex work, it's kind of hard for them. There used to be this girl on YouTube, you ask an escort, and she used to be in this chair. You would never see her face. And she would just talk about all of the things that she went through being an escort. And she deleted a lot of her videos. I don't even know if she's still around. And it is, it's funny because she has a girlfriend. Let's, let's go ahead and talk about this. She's an escort that has sex with men for money. But in her personal life, she has a girlfriend. And I think this is something that happened. I think the girlfriend spoke up because she had a channel. She was getting a lot of views. And it just one day I went there because she was kind of hilarious, you know, telling her tales and stuff. And it just all disappeared. It just all disappeared. So I don't know what happened to her. But one of the things that when you become a member or a staple of the sex work stable, going forward, personal relationships are going to become very, very hard to have. Now, I'm not saying it's impossible. The number of porn stars who are married is staggering. It, it is just staggering. Um, when you know your husband, you're like literally he's a porn star, she's a porn star. And it's like, hey, I'm going to work, meaning I'm going to actually hit up this other chick. And then when she says, I'm going to work, she's going to have this guy's manhood down her throat. That's a very different level of affection, in my opinion. That's very, very different. But we're going to have, because essentially with the economy doing what it's doing, the number of people getting their cars repossessed, the number of people getting evicted, they're going to turn to the oldest trick in the book to make some money. Sex work and escorting. Why do I say sex work and, and escorting? You're going to have a girl who's going to be on OnlyFans and she's going to get what I'm going to call special fans. And she's going to realize that if she would meet up with these special fans, she can get an amazing amount of money. Now, for me personally, um, to give a woman $500 is crazy to me. To give a woman 200 bucks is crazy to me. Uh, to give a woman $1,000 to have sex with her one time, that's insane. But once again, this woman who has her stable of fans, she's going to have some special fans that'll pay her a thousand, they'll pay her fifteen hundred, they'll pay her two thousand dollars. They hit it one time, and what's going? This is why I say she's going to do OnlyFans and escorting because she's only going to escort with her top-paying clients, and she may make ten. 15,000 a month just from her special fans. And then the other money comes from doing the cam work. And it, it's going to get really, 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 really crazy. Cause you know, years and years ago, I did a video and I'm probably gonna do a revamp of it. Uh, Hobo Nation, the number of people who are providing these sexual services to have a place to live is going to be insane. It's going to be nuts. It's going to be crazy. And we're going to actually, because there's a lot of people talk about the fall of Rome, right? And how the United States is at that place. I don't know if we're at that place, but I will say that things have dramatically changed because I remember years ago, years and years ago, you would go out and ask a woman out Monday for Friday. You didn't have to send a confirmation text. You didn't have to check up on her. I'll see you at seven, you know, at Friday at 7.30, you're on her way to the place and she's ready or getting ready. That was a norm. Not today, not today. It's nothing like that. And one of the things that I see in the society heading toward the way of Rome is the the emergence of outright 
decadence, outright decadence. And this kind of comes with the demo people. And then you get a demo person who gets into sex work. That's like turning a drug addict loose in a heroin farm. I mean, these folks will do whatever. They will do whatever to get that money. And you're going to see this because this is one of the reasons. And honestly, I have no proof, but, and I have no evidence and I didn't see anything, but let's go ahead and talk about this. There's a lot of people in that building that I used to live in that don't have normal jobs. They just don't. And the more and more I think about it, I think a lot of women in that building were sex workers because how could you afford to live in this expensive building, not have a normal job, have all this free time? The number of people in that building with dogs who walk their dogs in the middle of the day, it, it, it just kind of, you know, because I, I don't have a regular job. And I'm not saying that they're not doing internet stuff, but just knowing what I know and seeing what I saw, I think a lot of those women in the building were doing sex work because it will enable them to live this lifestyle and not have to work a 40 hour week. And this is, you're just gonna see more and more and more and more people get into this lifestyle and this line of work until they get old. And this is the thing where things start to change. Uh, there are very, very few porn stars who are doing porn when they're 40 and 50. Uh, there's one, she's blonde, I can't think of her name, but she's been at it for about four decades. But the reality is the average person is not built for that lifestyle. They're just not. And what you're going to see with the average person getting into that lifestyle is you're going to see people jump in and they're going to jump out. They're going to jump in, they're going to jump out. So one of the things that's going to be a big, big thing is the number of people who are getting into sex work for pay to make a living. And there will be tiers, there will be tiers. There will be the basic tier, there will be the mid tier, and there will be, there will be women online doing cam work and escorting work who will be making 100K a month from their cam work, their escort, and going to parties and stuff. So this is something that's gonna open up really, really wide for a lot of people. There will be some people who will make a, a fantastic amount of money from doing it, and there will some, be some people, they will struggle every day of the week, just like they had a job. They'd be struggling, waiting to get clients, waiting on someone to come pay them. It, it's, it's wild. And with the number of women going into the line of work, and it's, it's men too, but the number of women, I see the pricing issue just going down because there's gonna be so many women. Uh, during these TikTok videos, you see a lot of attractive women complaining about the price of soup and the price of eggs and the price of, and once these women, and some of these women are going to get into the sex work world, that same issue is gonna come up. They're gonna get into it and it was like 200 bucks. Let, let's go ahead and say they were getting 500 bucks, 500 bucks for this thing. And then as they go into it, it's gonna go down to 400 and then it's gonna go down to 300. And they're gonna see that they're gonna to have to do more work more sex work to make the same money they made when they started. And this is going to kind of wear on people because, you know, I don't really know how that stuff works uh, with the escorts, but I kind of have an ideal. And this is going to dramatically change the market. It's going to dramatically create new people getting in the market. And it's going to be something wild. It's just going to be wild because um, this thing, and I don't care with the number of ex-porn stars and stuff on YouTube, don't really care. 
this market is going to explode. It's just going to become something somewhat crazy, somewhat over the top different. But that's what's going to happen. The sex, the whole economy, as I call it, is just going to grow and grow and grow and grow.